everyone, thanks for joining. It's Patty with PS Paper Crafts, and I wanted to show you how to make this pretty card. I'm using the Beautiful Moments stamp set, and it has just some like sketches of a woman. I don't know if these are sisters or mother and daughter, and then two sisters, and I think they're really pretty. Um, you can color them in. I didn't, I just left it blank, and I just thought, or left it not colored. Um, I thought it was nice with this uh, background here. It's just a lady standing in a field of flowers, surrounded by flowers, and it says, thinking of you. So I'm using this paper. Uh, I'm so sad to see it go. It's my favorite paper, I think. It's just, uh, it's dressed by, or best dressed. And um, it has just beautiful florals. I love them. I'm not crazy about the backside. You know, it's got uh, lipstick and shoes and things like that. Not my... Thing, but boy the florals are beautiful I was gonna make it in this but I didn't have my lovely lipstick paper which is the the paper that would go with this but I had blackberry bliss so I'm making the second one this way as well so I have all my pieces um, so it's the blackberry bliss and this piece as well and then my inside piece and then my uh, piece for the tag uh, it says, you're somebody's blessing. I love that as well. Uh, thinking of you and collect beautiful moments. And I didn't write anything or uh, put a sentiment on the inside. I just stamped this little greenery across the bottom. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is uh, some cutting. So I'm going to take my... Um, actually, before I do that, let me stamp the sentiment so that we can do our all our die cutting together. So I'm using Blackberry Bliss for the lady and then Old Olive, which is one of the colors that's in this. The one thing that Stamping Up does is they tell you all the colors that go in a paper pack uh, collection. So it's really nice because you can match it perfectly. So here there's the um, lovely lipstick, which for some reason I don't have that. It's back at home in Florida and I'm in New York. I don't know why I didn't take it. That's one of the retiring, so maybe that's why I didn't take it. It's a retiring color. So we have, every year they come out with in colors, and then um, they last for two years, and then they become retired. And our new catalog comes out June 3rd, so the, the colors that were out two years ago will retire, and we'll get new in colors. And they're nice, they're kind of special. Um, because you only have them for the two years. So I'm going to cut this one out with my um, stitched labels. I think it's this one that I used. And it just fits. And I really have it going across the thinking of you. That's how I judged um, that it would be straight. So let's do that one first. Let me get my big shot out. I'm going to turn it this way so I don't crash into my um, thing that's holding my phone. <laughs> So let's put this down and I'm just going to make sure it fits in here and I'll put my top layer on and run it through. Hope I'm not shaking too much. And so now we have that piece and it leaves you a, a stitched frame as well. So that's nice. So we have that, and then I want to, let's put this back. I want to do my piece of uh, designer series paper, and I'm using the petal labels, and it has um, this big outside, there's an inside, and then you can do, um, if you wanted to put this in the middle with a sentiment and have this a different color. So it's a nice, nice little set. Um, and I'm going to feed it in, I just want to, Make sure I'm kind of, um, let me just move this over so you can see it. I'm centered across top to bottom, side to side. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And I'm going to run it through twice. I'm going to run it one way because this is um, a little bit detailed and intricate. So I just want to make sure I get all my little pieces cut. And what I like to do with something like this is just flip it over and make sure that I'm cut through and this looks good. And then I'm going to use my brush. I have, I, I have a paper pumpkin box that I keep it in. And you have a brush and a mat. And actually the brush, the new brush, is just a tip that goes on your pick tool. 
So you could just take one end off and put the brush end in. This is the original one, which I really like. So you're going to actually um, brush it with the die in, and it just helps pop out some of the, the pieces. So some of the pieces will come out. And I have to say that this die, you just have to be a little bit gentle with because, um, not that the things don't pop out, but there's, um, they kind of get hooked together because there's a lot of, oh, I didn't get it through here. Look at that. Let me do it again. And this time I'm gonna actually have it facing up. It's hard to tell because there's a pattern. Usually if it's a solid, you could tell. So let's just go, and I want to make sure it's in right, and I'm going to put it this way and make sure. And let's see if that is better. I think it is. So let's put this aside again. So if you ever have your die out and you're finding that pieces um, don't cut in, you can usually get your die back into the paper you can just move it around until it feels like it's um, caught in there. So what I was saying is when you pull it out, there's some pieces that sometimes get all caught in the other pieces. Um, I know I'm not explaining this right, but they kind of get caught together. So you just have to be gentle when you're taking it out. I guess that's the bottom line. And if there's any other pieces here, you could just poke them out. But this one looks pretty good. Let's just put it down on here. Looks like everything is out. And if you have pieces stuck in here, you could actually run the brush and just um, take them out so you can have it clean for next time. So let's put that away. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my stamping. Um, and this piece is a little bit smaller. So this is uh, four by five and a quarter. And this is three and three quarters by five, I believe. Um, so I have, I'm gonna just wing it. You could draw a pencil line around here, but I'm gonna just try to center it. And then I can move this if I wanted to. So I have the lady and I'm gonna stamp her in the Blackberry Bliss. You could stamp her in black and have your sentiment black. Um, there's not really any black in this paper, but I think that would be fine. Or you could stamp her in the old olive or one of the other colors in the paper. I just really love Blackberry Bliss. So I wanna make sure she's inked up really good. And I'm just going to center her. And you'll see what I mean about moving the paper around. So I'll just press her down. Okay. And now I want to just kind of figure out where I want her. And then I have my label um, that I want to put down below. So if, it, if you had it over too far, you could really move it around and it gives you a little bit of extra room. I don't know, that's just the way I do things. So let's get our liquid glue and I'm really gonna focus on getting all of the little pieces and I just really wanna dot it. If you had a silicon mat, it would be good to do that. And I'm just gonna go around and dot all the edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna come out and do a little bit more out here. I'm not gonna go all the way out because that paper is smaller, but I wanna make sure that this is nice and secure where it meets and it lies flat. So now I'll put this down and try to figure out where I want it. And that looks good to me and I'll just press down this inside. Now you could pop this whole thing up off of the card. Um, I didn't, I only popped the sentiment. So I think that looks good. So I'm gonna put this down on the card and see it's not perfectly centered and um, that's okay. It just gives you that little bit to play with. So I do wanna make sure that this is down. Okay, so now we want to center this. Isn't that pretty? I just love Blackberry Bliss, and it just really 
makes this floral paper pop. Okay, and let's get our sentiment. I'm going to use some dimensionals. Cross the back of this and pop this up a little bit. I'll just take the backings off. This card does come together pretty pretty quickly. Um, and I think it's really beautiful. Thinking of you. And just kind of figure out where you want to put this. No right or wrong for that. Let's get our inside done. And again, I just stamped that um, kind of greenery across the bottom. You could put a sentiment in. A lot of cards, uh, like thinking of you, a lot of times I don't put a sentiment in. And I'm going to start off the paper because I like things off the paper. So I'll just go across the bottom. You could actually stamp off if you wanted lighter colors, but I liked it just like this. And I'm going to go right to the edge. So there we go. Simple. Let's put this inside. And then we'll just put um, a rhinestone on it, and we're done. So I think it's a, a sweet stamp set. I really like it. I just got it recently. Um, it is carrying over, so when I bought my last set, I wanted to make sure I bought things that were carrying over to the new catalog. All right, and let's put a little... I'm using the Noble Peacock. I love these rhinestones. Um, they're really pretty colors, and it has the green, um, the old olive, so I figured I would use that. And you could put more than the one on. I just kind of like the one for the thinking of you. So these are the cards. I really love how they turned out, and um, give it a try. Use your designer series paper. I mean, really look at it and um, see how you can use it for different types of cards. It's really um, very versatile. But thanks a lot for joining, and you guys take care. Bye.